برنا على القناة زوانا مطر تي في وأهلا وسهلا فيكم بفيديو جديد. This video is gonna be more informative than just funny. So if you don't wanna watch it, just skip it. Just watch any other videos. Maybe something. No way. It's here. Maybe something over here. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about things that you need to know before you visit Beirut or after. It's always good to learn something new. برنا على الانترو. Number one. Although it is sometimes green for you. You still have to look both ways before crossing. Even myself, when I'm in Beirut, it's like uh, it's green, and then I just walk and just I start doing like this to the cars. Like, please don't hit me. I was once crossing a street, and there was no light, and I was looking at like you know the, the normal like the cars were coming from this way, right? And I was looking like that. Okay, there is no cars. I'm gonna cross, and then just a motorcycle just whew, from the other side, and kind of a little bit stepped on my foot. I was like. Okay. So yeah, you, you gotta watch out. Number two, you don't need to freak out about military checkpoints. They are everywhere. Let's put it this way. Let's say for Europe, you don't see the army on the street. You see the police. In Lebanon, uh, kind of like, uh, it's more the army than the police. It's not more the army, it's kind of like the same thing. But the army functions kind of as a police as well. I don't know how, how, that, how, would, how we even reach that point. And also a lot of people are actually scared from the army, not from the police. The police is like, <laughs> But the army was like, oh, yeah, take off your water. Don't freak out when you see them. Just say hi, and that's it. Number three, do not have an Israeli stamp on your passport. A lot of people do that mistake. Now let's 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 let's. Okay, Israel and Lebanon, they are enemies. They do not have peace. So having an Israeli stamp on your passport might be a bit like uh, suspicious. I mean, if you are Lebanese, but also American or German or blah blah, and you were in Israel, that's gonna you're gonna have a lot of troubles, a lot of problems. Because although you have another passport, you're also Lebanese. So you kind of like, you visited the, the, the enemy. But if you are German or French or US or something and you were in Israel and you visited Lebanon, I don't think you will get in so much trouble than being actually being half Lebanese. There's kind of certain procedures that you can do. I don't know, you have to Google. Four, the transportation pretty sucks. Uh, we have buses, but we also have taxis on the street, but also like, what I can recommend is actually I'm gonna I'm not gonna again I'm not gonna mention names over here uh, because I don't want to give like kind of a free advertisement for them. But there are certain companies that you can book them. It's kind of like a taxi. It's just like a taxi for you. And also there's a lot of traffic in Beirut. So if you are like if if, if the location is like one kilometers or like a bit uh, a little less than one kilometers, just walk, dude. It's it's really like it's not worth it. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm gonna stop this video right now to kind of promote myself. I have a, a course for for tourism purposes learning Lebanese kind of it's a mix of Lebanese and also kind of a mix of Lebanese culture and how to um, make your way through Beirut get this coupon over here yeah to get the course for nine point ninety nine dollars and this this course is ready but it's also growing so kind of I'm kind of doing videos on demands because I want to know what the tourists want to know they can send me a message and I can do the video on demand so Take the opportunity and let's go. Number five, don't be, um, let's say, how, how, how put it in a delicate way. Lebanon, um, you, you see churches next to mosques. You see women with veils next to women like wearing a bikini. Not a bikini, but it's just like, it's really like, out. It's really, it's really out. So don't be like, uh, don't have this mentality of being like, oh, do, do I have to wear a scarf when I go to Lebanon? No, no, you don't. And don't ask that, that's pretty close-minded. Um, six? Is, is it six, maybe? You have to know, we don't have um, numbers, like street names. We have street names, we don't have street numbers for the post. So if you want to like, if you're writing a post and you're just like, okay, I, I, I live on this street, this, forget it. We don't have one. We just say like, تنزل على آخر الشارع وين مطعم فروجة بتروح على اليمين بناية المدرشو الطابع الأول this is it. And then you hope to God that the, the thing will actually arrive. The Lebanese currency, we have a Lebanese currency, of course, but we also use dollars. So if you're an American and you want to visit Lebanon, you don't have to exchange. You just go with your US dollars and then, yeah. I mean, they will pay you back probably in Lebanese liras anyway, so you don't have to exchange. You just go with your dollars and buy stuff. Now, this is kind of like when you are in Beirut already. Discover the, all, the, 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 the rich Beirut and also the poor Beirut. 
This kind of a Beirut has a lot of contrast in within itself. You walk and then you see a really modern building, like you know, with this uh, glass uh, as walls and stuff. And then you see a building that is actually kind of destroyed from the civil war, and it's and it just remained like that as a landmark. And then you see a building where things really old with these like windows, like the wooden windows and stuff. This this is a lot of contrast. I think I still have that picture, which is here. This is Beirut. This is Beirut. So kind of walk, walk around Beirut. You don't really like you actually need a car if you wanna if you wanna go to another um, city. But in Beirut, I really recommend it just walk. Go to Monara and then walk towards Hamra or something. I don't know. Just like walk over there, discover how it is. And if you want to learn Lebanese Arabic as well, I also offer courses on Udemy for learning Lebanese beginner and intermediate. So also the coupons are in the description down below. Go get them and be happy. And I will see you guys next time. Me and me. Damn, son. Baby, that I want you. Yeah.